do go for it. Here's Allen. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Hold on a second. Was that the fullback? That was the fullback. Who says it to slot receivers? But only guys can catch the football and get big yardage after the catch. Really nice job there. Show good hands and an ability to get upfield. From midfield, here's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Allen to throw once more. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. I know when you get got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage, right, that run after catch. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Throwing his Allen on third. And that is caught. It's Davis. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, 33 yards. And the Bills have taken the lead. Bass on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Touchdown Bass to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. offense set to begin their next possession after that last score we just saw now 14 to 7 so a chance to march down the field here try to tie this football game they'll start out on the ground it's Leonard Fournette and he'll power his way forward for about four yards there in the first down carry the run got four now they deal with a second and six now a dump off here complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Brady now on first down. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. To throw again on second down. Brady, they'll swing this out to Fournette. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. From the gun on third down, Brady. And this one hauled in by Rudolph. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. Brady going to go on fourth down. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Jair Elam makes a pick, and the Bills are going to get it back here just past the 35. Yeah, we saw plenty of that during his much heralded college career. He parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. 
to throw. It's Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Throwing on first down is Allen. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. To throw once more on second and 10. Allen, the left side caught by Diggs. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. And again, it's Allen. Another target for Stephon Diggs, and he brings it in. Touchdown, Bills! Stephon Diggs in the final seconds of the first half. And the Bills will extend their lead here just before halftime. The extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 21-7. Time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And he returns this to the 22. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And with five seconds to go, this will likely be our final play. The final shot before half for Brady. Bearing this one out for Evans. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So this a two-possession ball game as we get back underway. Set for the third quarter. Taken at the 15, a short kick. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, They've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Throwing on first down is Brady. And this is going to be intercepted. The 20, 10, and he is going to score. It's a big six and a Bills touchdown. Well, if there was any thought that this thing might turn around for this offense in the second half, had those thoughts pretty well dashed after that interception return there. It just has not been a good outing for this unit whatsoever. There's no other way to say it. They've been overmatched, haven't performed to the level that they've needed, and that poor there just going to contribute to this game getting out of hand. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. A fairly short kick from the 14. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Hey, 
The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get up. And Brady going to be intercepted a third time. Tredavious White with a pick. And the return here is stopped at the 